What is up everyone? Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the vlog channel. Today we have an exciting video. We're actually going to be doing our wardrobe transformation, finally. Yeah, so I don't know if you'll remember this, but we did like a bedroom transformation video mm. probably two years ago now. Yeah, it's a long time now. Uh, and we actually built this built-in wardrobe uh, behind us. Yeah. Which I think was a really good job as mm -hmm. part of those videos. Um, yeah. But we never did the wardrobe in our bedroom. No, and we did say that we were going to do it in like the next video after that and we never got around to it somehow. Well, yeah, we just got too busy with things as we yeah. always do. So we finally are going to get around to that in this video. Mm -hmm. um, we're just going to take the easy route and do some of it from Ikea, but make yeah. it like a built-in version of yeah. Ikea packs. Kind of like how we did this. So obviously all yeah. of this is packs Ikea, but we kind of customized it and give it like, we've given it like a trim all around. Well from this, it. it was just the drawers that yeah. were from Ikea. Oh yeah, yeah. We built the carcasses ourselves. Yeah. But this time we've bought the carcasses from mm -hmm. Ikea. Yeah. One of the struggles was we've been buying things from Ikea from the last month now. Mm -hmm. They've had major shortages. So there's a lot yeah. of things that we still don't have which hopefully we will get by the end of this video, hopefully. Ho hopefully, but yeah, if you're going to Ikea, like they've got pretty big shortages on stuff. Yeah. We weren't even able to get the carcasses mm. for our wardrobe. Yeah, for we ages. We just got those <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. So this is the before and what the wardrobe looks like right now. I mean, it's not the worst, but it kind of doesn't really fit with the vibe of the room, does it? No, I just think it needs like a bit of modernization, really. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the doors. We might like try and sell them or something because they are still in pretty good condition. But yeah. yeah, the inside is like just not the most efficient in space. Really, the only thing that's kind of built in is this shelf and then that is actually from Ikea. So <laughs> I've never really been able to keep it very tidy because of that. And uh, yeah, we're just hoping that we can get more clothes in with this new wardrobe. And for everyone wondering, Basically, these four are Roxy's, mine's yeah. at the end, and then all of that is Roxy's too. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I have a lot of clothes. Yeah. Your clothes are like very small to kind of like pile up on top of each other, whereas I have like a lot of bulky things. Yeah. All right, so we've got one of the carcasses out. Can I just say, these were so freaking heavy. I don't remember them being this heavy when we did it last time, were they? Yeah, we like, uh, we struggled to get it up the stairs. Like, I know. Packs got heavier, I think. They're really, really freaking heavy, so just bear that in mind. But this time we went for the dark wood, as you guys can see. It pretty much looks black, but if you look up close, it kind of has like a brown green through it. Yeah, um, matches thought, the door. Yeah, it matches the door. And we just thought it'd be a bit, I don't know, like more cohesive with this room as it's kind of like that dark theme. Yeah. So I'm excited. But we went for the lighter wood interior. Yeah, to kind of just break it up a little bit. So that's the first carcass complete. We should have taken the sticky label off first. Yeah. Just realize that. Oh no. Okay, that's fine. We'll take that uh, off. Let's just build the other two. Yeah. And then worry about that. Yeah, because we still need to pull this whole thing out to be able to put this in. Yeah. And we have one more of these big ones and then we have like a single one to kind of go in the middle of them. The carcasses of the wardrobe are now built. We built all of them and actually got really late and dark last night by the time we were finished. So we actually did these off camera, which are just like the shelves. A couple of the drawers, yeah. Yeah, a couple of the drawers. Um, and we have taken out everything from this wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's so empty now. I know. There's one thing that we kind of ran into, which we sort of forgot about, and that's the fact that there's pipes in this wardrobe, but because obviously they were behind clothes, we couldn't see them. So now we're kind of like stuffed. <laughs> yeah, because they kind of like go like that, yeah. and with the Another IKEA way. wardrobe up there, it might stick out more than here. Well, it kind of will. Yeah, so, so. we're not really too sure how that's going to look, but we're just going to have to wing it, to be honest. So we have finally pulled everything out. Yeah, uh, so now it's just a case of like basically building framework for the new carcasses to sit in. Yeah. We might put one in, one in as a test. Yeah, just to see how far it has to come out. Yeah, the old one ended here. Yeah, so it's kind of flushed one. almost. So if we push through each other, we should get a better hold of it. Oh no, I'm dropping it. There you go. Okay, so three, two, one. Dropping. <laughs> Sorry. It's just sliding through my fingers. Okay. This is what we're kind of working with. It's in line with the skirting board, but it's kind of like hanging over the wall. 
But yeah, this is how it's looking. We'll probably raise it a little bit as well, won't we? So that the gap is sort of the same from the top yeah, to the bottom. It'll be in the middle. But we couldn't get the <laughs> we couldn't get the larger one of these because it would have been too tall. tall, yeah. right now making cuts it's so windy today isn't it yeah it's quite uh, it's quite windy so i hope you can hear us um yeah basically we're making all the cuts for the surround and the framing yeah uh, just doing it all basically just all at one time yeah so this is the uh length of wood that we've got this was actually a scrap from something else so we can use this yeah it wasn't long enough to do it in one so we're gonna have to do a join in the middle yeah that's all right Go. Okay. So we have just put the wardrobe on its frame and now we're just doing the trimming around to kind of finish it off. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, we already put the doors on and the drawers. Uh, we actually had a water leak. So yeah. <laughs> when we were fitting these, um, like the bottom of the frame, we went, drilled straight through, straight through a copper pipe. Yep. And I think it was our, yeah, it was our radiator, like pipe. It was so bad, it started leaking everywhere, didn't it? Yeah, so we had to call out an emergency plumber. Uh, they came and sorted it. And yeah, I'll, I'll put a video right here. It was, it was, yeah, it was quite bad, wasn't it? was it? quite bad, yeah, but obviously we didn't realise that the pipes would be that close to the, you know, the floorboards. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so the most of the surrounds on now, I'm just fitting these last two pieces. I think it'll look really good because it'll look like it's built in. Yeah, that, well that's what, we're, that's what we're going for, isn't it, the built in look? Yeah. That will go, I don't want to push it just yet. Yeah. But that's going to be a nice snug fit. And then we were wondering whether to paint the sides the same colour as the concrete, like do the concrete effect, but I think... Yeah, I don't know, I think we'll just go for black to be honest, because yeah. it's probably the easiest to match. I'm impressed with that. Doesn't even need filling. Guys, look at this join. This is so seamless. I can literally like barely feel it. So this is what it's looking like. Oh my gosh, it's gonna look so good when it's like painted black, I think. Yeah, and I think we made the right choice of going with the contrast. Yeah, the definitely. Different... Okay, so I already put some clothes in just because I wanted to get it off the floor because it's literally in that room on the floor everywhere. So I've started to kind of organize it a little bit. It's not exactly how I want it just yet because we do need to put another like drawer at the bottom. We're just waiting for that one to come. No, actually we've got it downstairs now. Oh, okay. have we? Actually, oh. I think I've got it here. Have you? Uh, when did it come? Oh yeah, it did come, didn't is it? Not it? Oh yeah. Sure that's it. So these are just uh, drawers like that, but in black, right? Yeah, but I remember getting two. No, I remember getting enough to fill the space. Oh. I've only got one here. Oh, my... okay. Anyway, we're going to put that in as well. Um, but yeah, this is what I've got so far. So we're just putting the drawer together. There was actually two in that box, which is good, because that's exactly what I need in that bottom bit. There yeah. is also space under there, so maybe we'll get like a um, shoe rack or well, something. Well, we were going to get the, like, the shoe drawer for the bottom, mm. but that's been out of stock for a couple of months, yeah. I think. Also, this, um, this colour here is actually discontinued now, which I'm so sad about. No, I think the guy that said it was discontinued, the next person we spoke to said he didn't know what he was talking about. Basically, we were told by one guy that this colour, the light sort of um, light wooden colour, was a discontinued line. And we couldn't get any more of the drawers and the shelves in this colour because we really wanted it inside the like actual behind the doors sections too. Yeah, but it and, just uh, they just didn't have the stock and he said yeah. it was discontinued and... So that's why we yeah. ended up going for the black ones instead. <laughs> Excuse all the mess. We don't have anywhere to put our clothes. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <Just yet. laughs> it's just been living on the floor for months now. So happy. All right. So the drawer is going in. Yep. So exciting. Like We're like so this. close to being finished, aren't we? I feel like we build these really quickly now. Yeah, we've got it right down because we've built so many now. Yeah. But yeah, I actually don't mind the fact that these are obviously the wooden color and these are black. I think it gives a nice contrast. So we are now just filling basically only the joins. That didn't really need it, but yeah, no. we can still do it. Yeah. And just yeah, basically anywhere there's screw holes like there, this join will need it. So yeah, we're just gonna fill that. Yup. You're struggling to get in there with that. I know. This is quite a big um, 
gap. It's not a very seam like it's not a very seamless drawing, but yeah, that's the only gap that didn't turn out very well. Yeah, but we'll have to fill it and hope for the best. <laughs> and I think black's like a good color anyway, because you know. Yeah, it's quite forgiving. Yeah. <laughs> just finished putting in the surround piece and we've also painted it black i actually really really like how it looks now yeah so that's all painted and we also added this small wooden trim to match oh, yeah. the color of the drawers across yeah. the bottom yeah it was just a little bit difficult to get right in there because obviously our floor ends and then we would have like probably got paint on the floor so we just decided to finish it off with a nice trim yeah but let me stand right back so you can see like the whole thing mm. yeah so it looks it looks good do you know what, actually it doesn't look that bad. I, I'm still not sure if we should have done the surround in black. I wish we did it the same colour as the walls. But it does, it does look good. I like it with the black because it kind of just looks really nice and cohesive. Like it's all just one colour kind of thing. I think on um, camera it, it looks like a very dark area because mm -hmm. the camera could only see like that. But yeah. the whole room, like the rest of the room is quite light. Yeah, so. and we've got the light floor as well. So I think it looks alright. Yeah, and then we haven't really fitted them out too much yet have we but no, you've put some stuff in i've got to sort through it all i think i'm gonna do like a sorting video on my main channel where i go through all my clothes um and maybe do like a little closet tour or and something like that <laughs> obviously we're still waiting for like the shoe rack things to come in stock yeah in ikea to go at the bottom yeah but yeah I you've gone really like it. you've gone for a mix of hanging shelves and drawers <laughs> i've literally not even anywhere near well you're, you're gonna have a lot of my space i think well, but i've just gone for for shelves and drawers. Yeah, I think it works for you because you don't really like hanging things up as I do. And obviously I'll, I'll have the, the shoe, rack, shoe well. rack in the bottom too. Yeah. And then we're not entirely sure what to put in this section. I just put some handbags there for now just because it was like really empty, but we probably will put clothes on the, sh on the shelves as well. But all together, we've definitely got a lot more room than the last wardrobe set up, even yeah. though it was rail all mm -hmm. the way through. There was a lot of wasted space, whereas now we're making use of like the whole thing. Yeah, and there's a lot of things that we don't mind being folded. So. Yeah, and we all we do also have the other room, which is obviously mostly my clothes because I just have so many clothes. Yeah, if you haven't seen that video, we built a walk-in wardrobe mm -hmm. differently to this one. We actually built it from scratch, so we'll link that yeah. so you can check that out. But yeah, yeah, that's pretty much pretty much it for this video. Yeah. Um, sorry, it's been a while since we uploaded. Uh, we have a video coming next week and probably the week after, so three in a row, which yeah. is good. Yeah. But as we always say, we have a very big project ongoing, mm. which we haven't announced. It's taking a lot of time. Yeah, up. we've been keeping that under wraps, but we're just like so eager to tell you guys. But yeah, yeah. When but the time comes. But next week's video is like a bit of a fun one, so mm -hmm. look out for that. Yeah, and we'll see you guys in the next one. All right, Bye. see you guys. Bye.